and Ooh. welcome back to Let's Go Live. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And all together now, we, we are live. live. This is going to be a really good creepy, crawly kind of show. Yes, our friends at the Royal Entomological Society are getting ready to celebrate Insect Week next week. And they have invited us to kick off the celebrations in our spare room. As always with a yes. Let's Go Live show, we've got fun. Yep. We've got facts. We've got games. Yep. And... Yeah. We're going to attempt to do a live insect safari as well. We're going to try. The weather is not in our favour, but we'll be doing our best. Oh, oh, oh don't what? forget the VIBs. The, no, no, no. I, I think you mean the VIPs. Very important people. No, no, no. I, I definitely mean the VIBs. The uh, the very important bugs, Greg. VIPs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, um, in fact, we've actually got some VIBs, some uh, some some little celebrity or not so little celebrities hanging out in our green room. We've got some over here, uh, some got in a the few green over here room as well. Over there. Um, and even one has just joined us down here at the desk. Um, hello, how are you? Oh, oh, are you not, good? Not very chatty. What have you been up to? Oh, well, more, I tell you what. Stick around. Oh. <laughs> Stick around for oh. more later. <laughs> but, um, See what you did there. <laughs> you know what? I think um, I think we'll have a chat later, don't you? Yeah. yeah you know what? I'm yeah. gonna put this good thinking. Just for now. Good thinking. Um, alrighty. Should we say hello to some of you lot who are watching live? Hello to everyone who's watching back. Hello, Hi. you lot. It's been a while, isn't it? <laughs> so good to see you. Who Who's with us in the comments? Okay, we've got James and Sam in Bromsgrove. Hello, James and Sam. Uh, Eleanor in Bedford. Hello. We have Phoenix and Lorcan and Jodie. Hi, you three. Uh, we've got Martha in Northern Ireland. Hello. Hello. Hello to Izzy in Derbyshire. Uh, we've got James. We've got Ewan in Swindon. Okay, fantastic. Oh, so tell us, are you excited about seeing some insects today? How do you feel about bugs? Some people are already sort of like asking questions. Ooh, How do yeah. we feel about them? Uh, Forrest and Paloma watching in Wales. Hello. Hello from Charlotte and Isaac in Huddersfield. Pippa and Henry in Sussex. So many of you. The live chat is on fire. And of course, if you are watching back later, hello to all of you as well. Well, something we do love here on Let's Go Live mm. is seeing all of your photos as well as getting to have a little chat in the live chat. Yes. And when you found out that we were doing an insect special, lots of you got in touch to send us photos of really cool insects, but also so some of the ways you've been looking after them in your gardens. Yes. So why don't we show a couple of those now? Let's have a look at some pics. Yes. All right. So here is Inara with one of her pet stick insects. She currently has two which hatched from eggs laid by her previous stick insects. Now you can see that was a female, the bright green one, but the brown ones, this one is a male. And look at its wings. How incredible. They eat bramble leaves and they're super easy to care for. Wow, cool. Here's Harry and Ellie. That's a very familiar castle. I recognise that it? castle. Also, you've got Harry there with uh, the Bug Hotel, mm. which has been going for a few years now and is a big choice of rooms, mm -hmm. uh, including straw, leaves, sticks and bamboo. Here's Oliver, who built a bug house using an old doll's house, which I think is a wonderful idea. He's also made a small wildlife pond and sent in a fantastic picture of one of his favourite finds from last summer, a beautiful white ermine moth. Love that. Um, here we have Rihanna and Luke on their trip to Japan a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they both love insects. And there's Luke with a cicada skin that he found. And Rihanna is looking at a beautiful grasshopper. Wow, so that's not actually a cicada. That's just the skin where it's shedded oh, its outer layer. That's neat. Fascinating. Really neat. Um, this is Forrest, who made a ladybird house last summer and really enjoyed watching them pupate as they transform from larva into pupa and eventually adults. Mm. Jessica and William, they uh, released painted lady butterflies. They started with five teeny tiny caterpillars. They watched them change into cocoons and then beautiful butterflies. And here is Teddy. Teddy and his mummy sent us some brilliant pictures of a group of caterpillars hanging out on their silken threads. I looked this up. I think they do it for protection, sort of safety in numbers. All right. But I'm not sure of the species. Do let us know in the comments if you have any idea. Last well, picky then. Mm -hmm. Astrid and her sister Eben yeah. uh, made B, B and Bs last summer from empty cans, bottle tops, and plastic bottles for the wings. Yeah. They stuff them with twigs and other materials. They put them in their allotment. They look great. I absolutely love those. Brilliant spot oh, awesome. for some solitary bees to hide out. And they look like bees too. <laughs> um, we do have a video here from Nature Tastic Henry, who is a nature super fan, and he's been really busy making a beetle bank in his garden. Hey Maddie and Greg, I've got the stones and the gravel behind for the beetles to live and soon it will be covered in wildflowers and grasses. 
I tell you what, it's Love a good that. job. I know, such a good idea. Great it's idea. brilliant that you're already taking photos and making some changes to your gardens or green spaces to encourage insects because we have a bit of a competition that you might be interested in. We'll tell you about a little little, little later on. Mm, I mm-hmm. think you'll like that one. Um, yeah. Oh, but that reminds me. What's that? I've been taking some pictures of insects recently. Okay. And I have a really cool picture of a really cool insect. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? I want to see it. Okay. What is it? Here it is, ready? Yeah. There it is. Oh my goodness me. That is terrifying. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> never seen a bug like that before. It was, it's me. That's me. What it's, is going on? It's, it's you. What? In which case, I shall call this the Maddie Bug. The Maddie Bug. Okay. We're going to call that the Maddie Bug. Hang on. Let, show me that again. I can't quite believe this. Wait, so what has happened to my limbs for a start? Why are they all coming out of, like, my chest? <laughs> well, my dear Maddie Bug, there is, yeah. a, there is a reason I made this photo. All I right wanted then. to explore what an insect actually is, okay? okay? Now, of course, that Maddie Bug isn't real, right? But it's going to help us identify the features of an insect's body. Right, I see. So what actually makes an insect... I, I actually can't get over this. Where okay. are my arm? Where have my arms gone? Uh, well, that's the first thing. Uh, insects don't have arms; oh. they just have legs. And let's count how many legs they have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Insects have six legs, ah. and they all come out of the thorax. Okay, all right then. So actually, the thorax. If if we had a thorax, mm. humans don't. But if we did, it would be between sort of like. Our neck and our tummy. This is like oh. the thorax here. Okay. But insects really have three main body parts. The head. Yep. The thorax. Yep. The abdomen. Right. So head, thorax, abdomen. abdomen. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually, yeah. I know a little song that might help us to remember those, uh, those, those three body parts. Cannot wait. Would you like to hear it? Yes, I would. Okay. All right then. Sing along, everyone. <clears throat> head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, two antennae. Four wings and six short legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Your turn. Ready? We can do it together. Three, two, one, and head, head thorax, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. abdomen. Join in. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two antenna, four wings and six short legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Yes. Round of applause. I just had to lower my voice to match yours. I was like, Pet, oh, sorry. Thorax. Went very <laughs> low there. That's very low. And you know what, though? If we get Maddie Bug back up again, there is something that all insects have that I don't think Maddie Bug here does have. Do you know uh, what that is? What, what else do insects all have in common? How dare you? This Maddie Bug is perfect. Well, all insects have something called an exoskeleton ah. so we humans our skeleton is on the inside of our body and it helps us to walk around and support all of our squishy soft bits but for an insect it's the other way round. they have this tough rigid structure on the outside of their bodies that protects their squishy parts on the inside it's their exoskeleton so hang on so uh these insects are crunchy on the outside yeah soft and gooey on the inside yes they're cream eggs. Like a cream egg. They're like a cream egg. Trust Greg to bring it back round to food. Thank you very How much. about that? Yes. Um, what do people think of our song? Uh, lots of people liking it, actually. Ali, Ruth, Ali Ruth loves says, it. brilliant song. Thank you so much. Um, oh, lots of questions about uh, bugs and insects. We're going to get to them. Lots of people loving your, right, your dunga bees. They're not dungarees. Dunga bees. My dunga bees. Dunga bees. <laughs> um, I've yeah. got an idea. All right. Your little song. Thank you. And us having a look at Maddie Bug's features. Mm-hmm. I think it's time for a quiz. Oh. Everyone, dance along to the quiz. We can do the, we can do the moves again. Uh-huh. Two antennae, oh, yeah. four wings, yeah. and six, six short legs. Again, two antennae, four, four wings, wings, and six short legs. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay. All right. What's the quiz? Good luck, everyone. <laughs> for this quiz, we're going to mm-hmm. need the help from our VIBs, our very important bugs. Maddie, would you like to bring over our first little celebrity bug from the green room? Thank you so much. So what's the idea for this quiz? Okay, so the idea is Mm -hmm. uh, super easy. We are gonna guess, you're gonna guess whether our first VIB is an insect Mm -hmm. or not an insect. Are they an insect or are they not an insect? 
You mm. decide. You decide. All right then, so I think I'm going to get the Ramulus blue out first. Yes. I'm just opening up its little enclosure. And something to remember actually is that insects make really cool pets, but yeah. like any animals, they all, you know, they require special care, special environments to live in, and also Diet. their diets too. Yeah. Yeah. And they yeah. can be delicate, so we have to make sure that we handle them really carefully. Yeah. Um, good idea when you're holding insects not to wear really strong perfume. Mm -hmm. And also if you can, um, hold them on parts of your, on the back of your hand, which are a bit hairier because it helps them to grip with their little toes. All right then. So I'm actually going to get out a stick in soon. Oh, I may. Look how beautiful this is. Wowzers. Oh, he's gone hiding. Hang on a second. So have we got a top camera here that we can yeah, grab hang on. To my, uh, my top camera has, has gone. I'll right, get so that I'm back while we're doing a, this. It's a wriggler. It's a wriggler. Beautiful. I've got it, I've got it. you got it, okay, cool. Wowzers, so look on, at so this. Look on bug cam. Okay, so this is, we'll call a Ramulus blue. Now remember, for this quiz, we are, are trying to ask the question, is it or isn't it an insect? So what do you think about this one here? Ramulus okay. nematodus blue. So let's think what we know about an insect. Mm -hmm. How many legs does it have? Well. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Good. Six legs. Now remember, it has three main body parts, a head, thorax, and an abdomen. And this does have a head. There it is at the front. Thorax and abdomen. Now the thing is with these, they like to climb high, don't they? So I have to keep my hands nice and low. It's also got two antenna there. But yeah. however, yeah. it doesn't have wings. No, but here's the thing. Actually, not all insects do have wings. Ah. So you can have flying insects and non-flying insects. That being said, yes. if you see something flying yes. and it's not a bird or a bat, then it is an insect. That is worth a little yeah. fact bomb. It's a good way to remember it. Yeah, if you see so it flying and it's not a bird or a bat, it's an insect. Yeah, so bees, flies, all of those are flying insects. So our question is, really, is this Remulus blue yeah. an insect? Yes or no? The clue also comes in its common name, which is a stick <laughs> insect. insect. I think I accidentally kind of gave that one away, but it's fairly <laughs> obvious. It is quite sticky, isn't it, really? Um, so well done. Did you get it right? Uh, yeah, I've got loads of people getting it, on, getting it right. I uh, tell you what, I can barely feel it. It's Kate, so... Inaya, yeah. Eleanor, Sophie and Caitlin. Isaac says it's a ginormous insect. Isn't it? It's so Olivia. skinny as well. Its legs can this its legs can be up to ten centimeters long. Wow. They're so thin and delicate. And also, Beautiful, right? we love that the male is blue. Yes, yeah, so this is a male, and that's why it gets it's where it gets its name from, Ramulus blue. All right, um, then, hang on. I think I might have in. my top shot back. Yeah, I got oh, my top okay. shot back. I don't know if that's particularly useful. Oh right yeah, because it won't be focused. No, not quite. All right, cool. All, All right, right then. Onwards. So I'm going to carefully put this one back. You put that one back, and I'm going to get ready for our second uh, very important bug. Our second VIB. Who's Actually, this then? I think our second is on your side, Matt. Ooh, okay. All right, give me a clue. Um, Does it make noises? It hisses ah. sometimes. This one. Okay, so this particular one is a bit of a wriggler, so we're not going to take this one out because we don't want to lose it in the Sparium studio whilst we are live good today. Luck. Good luck, good luck. All right, I'm okay. about to take off the lids. So, Greg, here we go. I might need your help yep. on this one. Top shot. We're we good. We have worked out it's a wriggly one. Ready? Okay, yes. And here we go. So the question Just is, hold it sideways. Now, does anybody know what this is? I love these. Uh, we've thought of giving this one a name. This one, this one has been named Rochi. All right, Rochi. Hello, Rochi. All right. So, is it an insect? Mm. Well, let's have a look. Legs. Do you want to one, try get Rochi two, out, or are we going to leave him in here? Uh, okay, I'll get Rochi. You going to try out. get Rochi out? Hang on. Okay, so let me bring it back to us here in the main camera. Oh, hang on, because okay. we're just seeing a top. I have one. Rochi. Ah, perfect. Here we are. So now you can see Rochi a little bit better. What do you think? Do you think Rochi is or isn't an insect? So I can tell you they've definitely got two antennae. Rochi does have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And it does also have three body parts. We do actually have a head, a thorax and an abdomen. So do you think that makes Rochi an insect? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now, Rochi um, actually uh -huh. is a Madagascan hissing cockroach. Right. So we might be able to get some hissing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if we get hissing. You got anything? No. 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 Rochi's not interested. No hissing. Not interested anymore. All right then. So I'm going to pop Rochi away. How yep. about that? 
and we're going to try and get us back to our main camera, which we appear to have just lost. Um, I think we can get back to it. Where uh, are we? There we are. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay, so you know you've met two of our VIBs. Yeah. Um, did we agree? Yeah. Rochi, insect or not insect? I think Rochi is an insect. Is an insect. Yes. Well okay, done. our next one. Yes. Oh, it's one of our favourites. All right then. Uh, Ooh, also mine, your side. Mine, 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 also mine. your side. I absolutely love this one. All right, so we have all of our cameras back in action. This is what happens when you're trying to do live, just the two of us with insects. <laughs> um, okay. Is this an insect? Hmm. <gasps> can you see it? Yes, we can see can it we really see? well. So things are about to get quite messy, I reckon. Oh, excuse me, mate. Sorry, buddy. Out it comes. Out it comes. Turning to bug cam. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Now, what, what a legend on earth is this? I can okay, tell so you. let's let's count its legs. <laughs> You're going to try and count these legs. No, are I'm you? not. There's a few more legs than six. No, this is a giant millipede. Uh, you certainly wouldn't find one of these in the UK. You would find them wriggling about in West Africa and they can get up to 40 centimetres long. That is big. Look at that. Look. It, it sort of looks like they've got one like long body part, but actually there are about 40 sort of, about you know, about 30 to 40 different segments there that we have. And look. Coming in for a Hello, selfie. Mate. Look at oh this. yes, trying to focus. Yeah, oh hello. Millie says hi. Oh. Wowzers. So what yeah, a their shot. bodies are divided into 30, mm -hmm. 40 parts. Um, yeah. And their name, Millipede, yeah. makes it sound like they have millions of legs, but actually have kind of 100 to 400 legs. Yeah. So how about that? Imagine having that many legs. I know you'd need an awful lot of shoes, wouldn't you? That would take a really long time to put your shoes on. So what it? do you think? Do you think this millipede is or isn't an insect based on what we know? What do you reckon? I think the clue is the number of legs. Yep. There are not six. There are so... absolutely not. No. Not an insect. Not an insect. But do you know what a millipede is if it's not an insect? It Ooh, is an invertebrate. Question. It does have an exoskeleton. Yeah. So it does have its, it is crunchy on the outside and squishy in the middle, um, but not an insect. So what do you think it is? Right, so well see. done to Charlie, uh, who says it's not an insect. And Jacob, who says it's not an insect, too many legs. Miranda has a question for you, Maddie. Yeah. Does it tickle? Yes, it does. <laughs> I was trying really hard not to giggle because I don't want to be very careful with it. It absolutely tickles. Shreya. It feels a bit scratchy. Shreya says that millipede is so cute. Isn't it cute? Uh, and well done to so many of you here saying, no, not an insect. Um, we have... One more VIB. Actually, we have two more VIBs. Two more VIBs. Oh, yeah, so okay. many to show right. today. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. We haven't had insects like this in the house before, or no. bugs, I should say, in the house before. So it's really exciting to be able to get close up and hands on with them like this. Okay, are you ready to meet this one? I am. So this one, what do you think? Is this or isn't this an insect? Here we go. Again, we're not going to take this one out just because it's quite wriggly. Here so this is an emperor. Scorpion. Scorpion, and I'm going to switch to bug cam. Wowzers. Look at this. Try to focus. I wonder if we can make him move, actually, because it's a little bit... Do you want to move out? Actually, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Here we go. So, a scorpion here. How many legs do you think it has? We can't quite see them, but I can tell you. Aha! It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A scorpion has eight legs. So what do you think? Do you think that do you think that makes it an insect? Or do you think it makes it something else? Hmm. Well what do you reckon? if it's got eight legs, what mm -hmm. else do we know that has eight legs? Mm -hmm. A spider. Yes, yes, a scorpion isn't an insect. It's actually an arachnid, yes. just like a spider. So is our emperor scorpion an insect? <laughs> No, it is not, but it is an amazing arachnid. Yeah, I do want to show you something else, though, just whilst oh we goodness, have this, this is camera. Oh, so cool. So this is a UV torch, and I just want to show you something that all scorpions do, which is very cool. All right, can you see that? I'm going to just zoom in a little bit, just so you get to see. Watch what happens when I shine the UV torch on it. Wow. Whoa, look wow. at and this. And just move the torch off and move it back on. Look. Can you see that? How cool is that? Yeah, so actually it fluoresces under UV light. So awesome. So, so awesome. Are you going to move for us? I don't think so. I think it's just having a little this rest. This one's just chilling. 
Just chill him. All right, then. Isn't so let's put the Emperor though? Scorpion back. So Emperor cool. Scorpion in the spare room studio. Live. Well, there you go. Who How would have cool thought? is that? All right, we have one final bug to show you. Favourite question. Uh, Favourite one. Oh, someone yeah. said octopus. <laughs> and I was like, it's not an octopus. But... When I asked how many eight legs. Uh, <laughs> I see what you're saying. What Love else? Um, not an insect as Hannah and William. Well done. Not an insect as someone, but ouch, if they nip you. They can nip, but actually these emperor scorpions are quite docile. So we could handle them. It's just <laughs> they, do, they can move quite quickly. Um, now, what else do we have? Um, Elizabeth and Sammy say, wow, I know. How amazing is that under the UV torch? Okay. Um, Ready for our last guest? Yes, absolutely. So we've got one more VIB to show you. Greg, would you like to do the honours? Uh, yeah, let me switch you to bug cam. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Bug cam. Mm, okay. Well, how about I can give you a clue? Um, this, uh, this is... I don't want to give it away. You've got it. All right, then. So this is called... A praying mantis. I've done it again. I've kind of given it away, Gregs. Oh, you did, but don't worry. I know. I'm not surprised. It's because we're excited. Look how incredible that praying mantis looks. I tell you what, why don't you get your hand in a comfortable position? Oh, actually, there you go, because this is we're doing this in all sorts of weird ways. I need to see its face. Wow, look, look at that. Look at that. Now, let's have a look at it. They're super cool. Take a look at its body shape, okay? It's got this, like, triangular head here on a long neck. Mm -hmm. We say an elongated thorax because it's stretched out. Yes. So this is its thorax from here to here. Yeah. Uh, and it's got those six legs coming out from it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, look at its eyes. Okay, so I can tell you a bit about these eyes, actually. Oops, sorry, I'm on the microphone there. Oh, look at that for a shot. Well, let's go wow. live in a You poser, you praying mantis. <laughs> um, so actually, those two large eyes that you can see on the sides of its head, those are called compound eyes. Bees have compound eyes too. Um, and they're really sensitive. And that's why if ever you put your, um, if you put your sort of wave your hand near an insect, they'll tend to fly off straight away. Uh, but then they have another three eyes in the centre of those compound eyes, uh, which are called ocelli. They're more like simple eyes. So simple tons of them. Eyes. So yeah. many eyes. Yeah. Um, and also, while I'm holding this praying mantis here, mm -hmm. looks like it's pointing at the camera. While I'm holding this amazing praying mantis here, yeah. I've got a great praying mantis fact bomb for you. Okay, what's that? Uh, a female praying mantis mm -hmm. sometimes eats the male. What? That's bomb. What? Oh, you little cannibal, you. You little cannibal, you. I actually it. don't know if this is a female or a male. Point, pointing out the camera. It's like, because they like to climb, they like to reach, so it's reaching out for like the next branch. Yeah, to kind of this particular praying mantis quite likes to be upside down, doesn't it? Does it does like Much to be happier down hanging down upside down. Okay, all right. Let's put Wowzers. it back. Okay, well, that was an exciting thing to do in the spare room studio. So did you guess, what did you think? The praying mantis, is it an insect? Isn't it an insect? It is definitely an insect. Well done if you got that correct in the live chat. Emily and Jake say that is amazing. Um, Alan is saying, cool, it looks like an alien. Oh, that was Thomas, age seven, who said that. Um, Meg said, definitely an insect. Well done to you. <laughs> so many people saying cool and fact bomb. <laughs> you know what? It's really nice to see so many of you excited about these bugs because they really are fascinating and they are like little aliens we've returned them to the green room yeah. um but i think we might get one or mm -hmm. two of them back out later for what i think is going to be yep. our most awkward awkward selfie <laughs> ever <laughs> we will do our absolute best we will get the best behaved vibs out and try and get one of those little pictures okay no then right. i think it's about time we celebrated some of the insects that we have out and about in our gardens, in our green spaces, in our houses. Yeah, because these bugs, they don't origin they don't originally come from the UK. They're a lot bigger. They come from sort of more tropical places, warmer places. But actually, the bugs that we have in our gardens are just as cool. And oh, it's important yeah. to remember that. Oh yeah. So it is time for what we like to call an insect safari. Okay, but to make this super interesting, we're going to do the insect safari live and we're timing it as yes, well. Yes, it's going to be against the clock. Right, so I'm going to head out into the garden Please and Greg do. is going to explain how this is going to work. ta ra ta ra, ta -ra. Okay, so we love looking for bugs here on Let's Go Live, right? Uh, we did a mini beast kind of adventure in the first week of Garden Week. Uh, you can actually find that on our website if you want to. If you haven't gone and explored our website yet, it's packed full of activities, science activities. I think we've got almost 100 on there now. So go and have a look at that. Um, so Maddie, this time, is going to have a look for just insects in the garden. Oh, she's ringing me. 
uh, hello, okay, I've got you, uh, and bring you up. Hi, Maddie. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? Very good. <laughs> very going? good. So, um, Mads, yeah. you need to look for insects. Where are you going to look? Right. Well, the weather isn't on our side. So actually, I think if there are any insects about, they're probably going to be finding some shelter from the cooler air, the wind and the rain. So I'll probably, yeah, maybe look in some hiding spaces. OK, what do you cool. think? Yeah, I think um, they like to hide to avoid being eaten. You could look under yeah. and behind things, maybe right, okay. even. Get creative. Yeah, get creative. Shady kind of moist places as well. Hmm, all right, okay. all right. Okay, good I'm going to give you yep. a three minute countdown. OK, all OK, right. all right. You ready? I'm yeah, going to do ready. that with some music. Uh, me on, are you on set, everyone. Mads? Count the insects as I go. Three, two, one, go. OK, first of all, I'm going to draw your attention to some old wood that we have down here. It broke apart the other day, so I'm curious to see if we can find any insects in here. Hmm, maybe not in this bit. But how about down here? What do you reckon, Greg? Does yeah, like some of the live viewers like are saying insects? under and behind the plant pots. All right. Oh, yeah, well, they're saying in the wood. In the wood. Can you see any sort of... I'm looking for maybe beetles. Can't see any. Can you... Oh, look. Oh, I don't know how, I don't know how you, you can see all oh, of yeah, this. Oh, yeah, I can see them. Wood lice. Ah, uh, but the thing is, those are wood louse. So, um, fun fact for you. Woodlouse, not actually an insect. They're a type of crustacean. I know, who knew? I've got some more uh, some more dry wood over here, though. Let's see if there's... Well, damp wood, I should say. Let's see if we've got anything. I'm looking for beetles. Mm, no. Oh, again, we've got... I don't know if you can see that there. There are actually a whole bunch of different slugs. Slugs. Can you see that slug? Yeah. Is a slug an insect? No, it's not. No. All right. Okay. Um, okay, so I've now got to some bramble. So this is usually covered in bees, but as we are out here today, I'm not sure we're going to find anything. Got something. Let's see. Can you see this little there? See that speck? Got it. Move your finger. Yeah, got it. That there. Oh, I don't know if I can get it focused for you. I'm sorry, but that is actually a type of larva. I reckon that might be some kind of larva, maybe a ladybird larva. Um, what have we got? Oh, here we go. See this here? Yeah. This leaf looks like it's been gobbled by something. And actually, can you see that little black dot? Looks yeah. like some kind of flower beetle of some kind that's been having a meal. So I think that's that's two. Back of the garden, we've got lots of long grasses to help encourage insects. And I can see we have got <gasps> some ants that are busy. These ants are actually farming aphids. So they have a really interesting relationship. Aphids, they will use their mouth parts to suck out the nectar from the sap and they release something called honeydew and then the ants will eat it and in return for the sweet honeydew the ants will help protect the aphids. So they're kind of like farming. So we've got Is that two there. double insect, Mads? Yeah, double insect. Double ants, insects. Ants and aphids. There you go. Okay, you've got 30 <laughs> seconds left. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, I'm coming around here. <gasps> got something else. Here we are. So this definitely, can you see this red one, red and black one here? Oh, yeah. That, can we get it in focus? I'm trying. I don't, oh, I can't. There's no way I can do that, I'm afraid, using right, this phone. A little bit. There right. we are. So that there, that red and black thing, I'm pretty sure that's a ladybird larva. So that eventually will turn itself, it will transform, it will pupate, and it will turn itself into a ladybird. Cool. Woo! Five. <laughs> Four, three, two. I mean, that's a great one to finish on, Mads. Oh, that was tricky. Good job. Because normally what? we have so many bees in our garden, don't we? So many bees. So it's raining now, actually. Um, but the bees aren't going to come out in this because they're just going to get soggy. So they'll be hiding. Any bumblebees will just be hiding in their little nest holes, and honeybees will probably in their in their hives with the rest of the colony. There are flies flying about, but did my best. See you in a bit. Good work. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Tried an insect safari live. Yeah, our garden is um, is home to so many bees and so many other uh, flying insects. If you're having a look on an insect safari, um, 
to boost the number of places that you could find insects, you could try leaving areas to grow wilder. We've done that with uh, with part of our lawn. You could leave the bushes to kind of get thicker, leave the lawns to grow, because then <laughs> the insects absolutely love that. Um, you can look in brick walls, you can look in hedges, yep. uh, around the bottom of trees. You did very well for a wet I day. Did, but also I wasn't able to get the camera to focus in. I wasn't sure how well you were seeing things, but we maybe it see... was just the dodgy connection. Yeah, we could see them. Oh, okay, brilliant. I cannot wait to see what you lot get up to on an insect safari because yeah. we know that you are the absolute champs at finding wildlife and yes. I reckon you're going to be great at finding insects. I think so. I think so. Well, thank you. I did my absolute best. I think you did very <laughs> good. Um, you don't need to time yourself. Just whatever time you've got, have a look. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got a garden, look there. You can have a look in a park. Look inside your house. There's loads of insects in houses as well. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, someone needs to just... What's that? Dave? Of course. So if you've watched Let's Go Live before, you know that Dave is, well, he's our little, he's our Let's Go Live mascot and he always likes to get dressed up for the occasion, doesn't he? Yeah, but um, mm -hmm. what, what's he get? what? Oh, he's Dave, it's not, it's not time to be eating, mate. He's reminding us about our next game. Oh, the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So we're it's, about to play. It's time to play. Ready? Yeah. The om nom nom insect nom, mouth part nom, game. Nom, nom, game. <laughs> the om nom nom game. Oh my goodness, Alrighty. this is so good. Okay, all right. So we are going to play the om nom 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 game. Okay. And uh, because, you know, it's Let's Go Live. Yeah. We love ourselves a crafty game. Maddie, would you care to explain yeah. what we're doing with the om nom 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 game? Mm -hmm. All right then. Um, so it goes a little something like this. So we're going in front of us, we have... We can't hear you. Oh, sorry. You've got a sponge in your mouth. Oh, God. I know, I'm pretending to be an insect. Oh. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I'll do it without oh. first. Right. In front of me here, if we can go to the top down, you might be able to see all of our various bits and pieces that we have for the game. This zoom out, zoom out. Zoom there we are. Out. All right, so we have some food stuff that we have got. Um, some sort of like sweet orange squash in a tall glass. We have some red food, some red custard mm. in it that's covered in cling film. Mm. We've got some lettuce leaves and some jelly that's dissolving. But we've also got some tools in front of us here. We have a sponge, a twisty twirly straw, some tongs and a pipette. Well, there, which is sort of like just a bit sharper at the end. Okay, so we have four different types of food. Yes. And we have four different insect mouth parts. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we're going to do is look at the different food types and decide which mouth part we think would be best suited to that food. And then we can, by doing that, we can learn about insect mouths and the type of things that they eat. Maddie, I think you should be the first to play the om oh, nom 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 <sighs> game. Right. So, okay, so which what... of these mouth parts I'm going to choose for you? Uh -huh. I'm going to choose uh, this, the okay. juice. Which of these mouth parts is going to be best for slurping up the juice from the bottom of the glass? Well, I put my bug goggles. Okay, it's very difficult to see. <laughs> okay, where is it? There, there it is. is yeah. Okay, so this is in quite a tall glass. So with my various tools here. No, the, I, gonna the sponge isn't going to fit in the glass. The tongs aren't going to do me very well. The pipette isn't going to... I'm not going to be able to get much with the pipette. In fact, it might be quite short. So I'm going to use... I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use the long, twisty straw. Um, yes, this one. Am I right? Very, very sensible. You have got the right one. Yay! Um, it's going to get right down into hard-to-reach places. <laughs> what sort of insects do you think would have a mouth part like that? Okay, so I think I know this. Mm, so I'm not, I'm not surprised. This is a little bit like a flower. So I can imagine um, if we think of this as nectar and this is perhaps like a tube-like flower, yeah. some insects are going to need that long tongue-like mouth part to get right down into the nectar, such yeah. as a bee, yes. different bees, or even a butterfly. Absolutely. And we call this long tongue-like mouth yeah a proboscis a proboscis you Here's... say proboscis i say proboscis <laughs> <laughs> um, it's perfect for plant eating insects that want to reach into flowers they suck up that nectar and it's a bit like a long straw yeah um, and if you look at this photo, can you see that sort of like, you can actually see its long twisty proboscis. And what's cool about butterflies is that when they're done with it, they roll up and they can mm. put it up out of the way again. Mm. Isn't that now, fun? Because you guess this right. Yeah. Uh, you got the first round of the om nom 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 game right. You can get to demonstrate. Like a butterfly. Like a butterfly. Is it in that? Here we go. <laughs> Clap your wings. Nom 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 nom. 
Did I do it right? You did it perfectly. Thank you. Absolutely perfectly. Okay, Good next job. one. Okay. Um, I think the food... Sorry, excuse me. Food. Um, you are going to have to... I want you to eat the dissolving jelly. That the dissolving, we have down here. the dissolving jelly. Yeah, this Brilliant. one here. What's a what tool do you really think you should see. use? You can't see a thing. No, I can't see a thing. <laughs> what tool do I think you can use? You have okay. a pipette. Where's the top? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have the sponge and you have the tongs. So, what do you think is going to be best for for this? I am going to go for yeah the sponge. Why is that? Because I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking that the sponge right. It's going to like soak up the jelly. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah. right. So you have just selected the spongy mouth part because, you know, that's exactly what it is. Um, Greg, you know what to do. You can do it right away. Should we see which animal has? Oh, you want me just to get in there? Yeah, I just want you to do it immediately. Okay, brilliant. Can't wait. Ready? Go. <laughs> Say it. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, beautiful. One type of animal that has a spongy mouth part is actually the common house fly. Hmm. Uh, flies are omnivores, which means they eat both meat and plants. But how they do this is really, really cool or gross, depending on how you think about it. Yeah. Uh, common house flies, they produce saliva, so that's spit, and then they will put that and spread it all over the food that they find. And this saliva starts to dissolve that food, just like our jelly. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So yeah, when that food starts to dissolve, they mm -hmm. can use those spongy mouth parts yeah. to like om nom nom it up. Yeah. Bon appetit, Mr. Fly. Exactly. And you probably saw the spongy mouth part on the fly there. What an incredible, incredible photo. So yeah. Okay. Ooh, how about that? Maddie Moat. Uh, yes. I'm going to give you the lettuce. This one here. The lettuce, please. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to get very far with the uh, the pointy pipette, so I think I'm going to have to use these. And I've got an idea what these actually might be already. <laughs> I think these tongs are my mandibles, my jaws. Yes, they absolutely are. Yeah. So some insects are herbivores. They yeah. eat, uh, they just eat plants. And some of them have mandibles like this. Uh, so plant eating insects like grasshoppers, uh, ladybirds, they munch on leaves, right? They need to essentially like cut the leaves, tear it apart mm -hmm. and shred it. Yeah. Check this out, actually. I've got a little picture of a beetle's this? mandibles. This that... is a long horn beetle. Oh, and they actually use their mandibles to chew on wood. Yeah. Uh, but look at this beautiful photo. These are German wasps. They use their mandibles to chew on wood too. They also drink nectar, but they also use their mandibles to eat aphids, mosquitoes, and caterpillars. So yeah. they are predators. They're predators. Exactly. They, they hunt other animals yeah. to eat them to survive. Yeah. Okay, cannot wait for this. Maddie. All right, hang on a second. How are we gonna but do hang this? Hang on, I've got to put my bug eyes back on. Yeah. Oh, I can't, ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Nom, nom. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Beautiful. Okay, there's one left. Okay. Um, in fact, you've only got one left. So you have, I'm going to give this to you here actually, Grace, okay. to inspect. So you have a little dish of red custard, but it is covered in cling film. And this is your final tool. Any ideas what you think this might be? I get the pipette. For Pointy this. pipette. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know. Okay. okay. Hands up if any of you have ever had a mosquito bite. Me, so itchy. They are really, really so itchy. So scratchy, don't do it, don't scratch them. Yeah, but do you know what a mosquito's mouth part looks like? Well, it's a little bit like a piercing, sucking tube, which is why we have here oh. a little pipette, which can both pierce and suck. And then we've got a photo, you can see how it works. That needle-like piercing, sucking tube is able to pierce the skin and suck up blood. So how hang on. So I'm going to be like a mosquito yeah. sucking up custard yeah. going through the outer layer first. Yeah, except you're not okay. actually going to have any. You can't do it without your bug eyes. Oh, I can't do it without my bug eyes. What's he like? What is he like? I can't even see the thing. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Om nom nom nom. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. That was awesome. So there you go. So that cling film there was acting a little bit like a layer of skin. Well done, Got it for seconds. Um, Still hungry. <laughs> it's not just blood sucking insects that have these needle like piercing sucking tubes though in fact out in the garden we saw some aphids and aphids use uh, piercing sucking tubes to get into 
plants or into the stems of plants, and then cool. they can um, like slurp out the sap that's inside. Neat. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and also, mm-hmm. I think there's a fact bomb coming up for this one. Okay. Well, first, you get one for yours. Uh, I here's the thing: some adult insects don't have mouth parts at all. Why? Because their one aim in life is just to reproduce, and they just don't live long enough to have their next meal. Imagine Sad times. not living long enough to need a mouth. But is that worth an on nom 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 fact? Yeah, definitely. Om nom 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 fact. If you Wowzers. want to try the om nom 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 uh, insect game at yeah. home or at school, please do give it a go. Uh, you could make an insect mouth part station like the one we just showed you on a tray. Mm-hmm. But as always, as we always say on Let's Go Live, just use what you've got around the house. Yeah. Just you don't need to use exactly what we've used. You could also maybe look at different pictures or, or photographs of insects. Maybe you can try work out what type of mouth part they have. And then from there, you might be able to have a think about the food that they eat because of the types of mouths they have. Nice idea. Mm-hmm. And talking of photos there, yeah. we've just seen some beautiful like beautiful photos right. just there. Mm-hmm. Um, and that gives me an idea. Yes, well, we both love taking pictures of the bugs that we see out in the garden or when we're on a walk. Um, and some of you might remember back to Garden Week yep. at the very beginning of Let's Go Live when we did a mini beast hunt, a photography mini beast hunt with our friend, Ra- Ranger Hamza Yusuf. Mm-hmm. And he gave us some photography tips uh, when it came to taking pictures of bugs. Can you remember what they were? Uh, there were three. Yeah. Uh, The first one was look up, down and everywhere because insects are all around you. They really are. They're just hiding. (laughs) The second one was you can uh, you can make things to like give the bugs a home to like bring them to you. Yeah. Like like a bug hotel. Like a bug hotel. Uh, The third one was to get a really good photo. Think of the angles. Look at it in a different way from like a different angle or yeah. through, through something like a magnifying glass. All really good tips. So if you want to go back and watch that, then you can do. I've just left a little description in the uh, YouTube box below, um, a little link for you. Because those tips might come in handy as the Royal Entomological Society are going to be running a photography competition for Insect Week. Yeah. And here to tell you all about it, we have a special message from none other than the president of the society, Helen Roy, uh, here she is. Hi, I'm Helen Roy and I'm the president of the Royal Entomological Society and I'm an ecologist at the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology. And today I'm out in my back garden. It's very wild, windy and rainy and I'm not seeing very many insects around me, not surprisingly because of this weather they're all very sensibly taking shelter around my garden. But often out here, I see all kinds of things from hawk moth to tiny flies and tiny beetles, and they just fascinate me. Their diversity is incredible. They're so beautiful, and they're all performing very important roles out here in my back garden. And I just find them an utter joy. So I'm really delighted that we're celebrating insects through the Royal Entomological Society Insect Week. And there's so many ways in which you could get involved. And I'd love it if you would visit our website, the Royal Entomological Society Insect Week website, and find out about the amazing activities that you could get involved with. There's a fantastic photography competition, for example, and we would just love to see the photos that you take throughout um, the summer months of the insects that you see when you're out and about. And if you've got any questions at all about any of the insects that you see, we'd be delighted to hear from you. I'm really looking forward to celebrating Insect Week and I hope you'll join me too. Have a wonderful time. Well, so Helen Roy is an entomologist, so she is an insect scientist. As you heard, she loves all insects, but she's particularly passionate about ladybirds. Oh. I can see why. great. And so are ladybirds. Yeah. Yeah. They are cool. Um, So yeah, thank you so much. And if you do want to get involved in that competition, then there will be details in the description box below. And the the Royal Entomological Society will be updating that website as soon as there's more information. Cool. Nice. 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 Um, We are going to show some more pictures of you Mm -hmm. and insects at the end of the show, which is just coming up. Um, But also, if you're watching live... Let us know in the chat what you love about insects. Yes. How about we do a little shout out for insects? Yeah. What do you love about show. bugs? Um, but before we do that, before we see the pictures, before we do the shout outs, before we give you a special announcement, tease. We promised um, you. We promised you the most awkward selfie ever. All right then. So here we go. So again, if you're joining for the first time, your awkward selfie is when this is your opportunity to Where's grab they? some kind of camera and take a photo with us 
but this time we're doing it with the VIBs as well. All right, then. I'm sorry, because our lovely Millie, Millie Millipede has gone back to sleep and curled itself up. So I am getting oh, it back out again. I want to get Dave in the photo. Oh. Dave gets upset if he's not. Oh, no, Dave's lost his antenna. Oh, Dave, mate. Can't put you in the Failed. photo, Failed. Failed. Failed as an insect. <laughs> Here we go. So I have so so I've got the millipede here. I've got so technically not an insect, awesome but you are getting insect. out. I've become likes to climb up my hand. You're Look getting out. Look. So good. That's it. I've become. He just okay. climbed right on out. Okay, you ready? Okay, Three, here we go. I want to make him look as big two, and cool as possible. One. It's, it's the awkward, awkward selfie. selfie. <laughs> I thought it was going for your head. Oh my goodness! Can you imagine? No, I, I won't do that. Oh. Um, one last one. Let's do it one last time because you never know when you're going to get it. I'm going to do it against my t-shirt like this. Three, two, one. It's the awkward selfie. Did it's, you get it? You must have edition. got it. Okay, bud. You're going back in. Oh, I love I'm this do one. This the way that you like it. I feel like you're you definitely on an honorary visitor at VIB today because, yes. as I said, our millipede, oh, not well technically an insect, but... Not like, to say. Yes. Did anyone tell us actually what this is if it's not an insect? I wonder if anyone told us oh, in the I live don't see chat. It. The live chat is going yeah. today. It's a myriapod. A myriapod. A myriapod, yeah, oh, absolutely. Myriapod. I might just keep this one with me till the end of the show. You do that. Great. You do that. I mean, We're friends. My buddy, right, um... my bug buddy, just likes to climb, <laughs> so I'll put it back in there with the food. While um, we hang out, we've got some more of your photos to if show you. If you do want to share your picture, that's us on the social medias yeah. at Maddie Mo at Greg Foot hashtag Let's Go Live. We would love to see your pictures. Should we have um, a little look then? At yeah, definitely. Uh, first of all, we have Connor here. Now, Connor was exploring his local wildlife reserve when the, this little fellow landed on him for a break. He thinks it might have been a Chalk Hill blue butterfly. Gorgeous. Ooh. Poppy made friends with a hawk moth who kept landing on her on a nature day. <laughs> and we've also got Freddie here enjoying looking at the butterflies that they've raised at home. Harry helped to make a bug house at the amazing Poppleton Oosbank Primary School. And here we have Grace and her daddy. They made an insect hotel from random bits they could find in the garage in the garden. And they built it around a big branch that came from, the, from Grace's grandparents' garden. Uh, Lucy and Peter made a bug hotel last summer. They've been encouraged by watching Let's Go Live! Yay! Yay! Evie's had some amazing butterfly encounters, releasing them after raising them from caterpillars. Whoa. And they're also at a wonderful, wonderful butterfly habitat in Sussex. Looks like uh, one of the butterflies has mistaken her hairband for a flower. And here is Esther holding a cockroach, a little bit like Rochi yeah. from earlier. Um, she's also got a tarantula there. Not an insect, but still very, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Esther is seven years old tomorrow. So we would like to wish Esther... <laughs> Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Also, happy birthday to Amy, who was seven on Thursday. Yep, yeah, not the only, uh, not the only birthday. And uh, Amy had a space-themed birthday, um, inspired by one of her favourite Let's Go Live weeks. That was Space Week. Yes. Yeah, so happy birthday to Amy Very for being for turning seven. Cool. Um, that is pretty much it then mm -hmm. for our insects special. Yeah, it is. Remember, you need to look and listen for insects because they are all around you, mm -hmm. and when you spot one. Think about that amazing vital role they're doing for the environment. Yeah, thank you to everybody who has been commenting in the live chat and to everyone who sent in your fantastic photos. We can't show them all, but there were loads of them. So it's many. great to see thank so you. many of you, you so loving much. insects. And don't forget, you can use them to enter the Insect Week Photography Competition. All the information in the video description below. Before we head off, let's just say goodbye to some of you in the live chat. There uh, we have oh, so much. Flo, so Otto much. and Polly. Goodbye, you so three. Many. Uh, Lucy uh, and Serenity, Maddie, Mummy Jo. Lyra um, says that one day she found a very big wasp at school. Goodbye to you, Lyra. Thank you for watching. Uh, Leaf Blow United are watching. Hey. <laughs> Jamie, Annie, Jack and Henry. Another quick birthday. Brendan is turning six next Saturday. Happy birthday for next week, Brendan. Olivia answered our question, says they love the beautiful colours of butterflies. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Uh, goodbye to Patrick and Sully. In the, uh, uh, Indian Willow found a stick and set in their cousin's garden. Uh, Darcy from Hedge End loves bumblebees. Goodbye to you too. Uh, Isaac and Noah uh, have been getting in touch. Uh, Emily says ladybirds. Emily loves ladybirds. Shreya started an environment programme at uh, college, at Northwood College. Oh, Good very job. cool. Nice. Good job. So I think that is it from us today. Yes. Um, have a fantastic insect week and please do get involved in any way that you possibly can. Thank you so much to the Royal Entomological Society for mm -hmm. supporting this video and to Martin French for lending us the, uh, the VIBs. Remember to mm -hmm. subscribe and Two little announcements. Okay. Watch this space for another Let's Go Live special that's on the way soon. 
But our oh, special yeah. announcement today is that we are doing a live theatre show this summer. We are. Yes, it's called the Wonder Games and it is packed with quizzes, lots of silly fun and super-sized science games. Yes. It's going to be at the London Wonderground in Earl's Court this August. Yeah, it's called The Wonder Games, in yeah. fact. And um, we actually sold out uh, all the shows, the tickets yeah. that we could release in the first couple of days. But, announcement, <laughs> two more shows have just been added on yes. the weekend. So have a look. Information in the description box. About time we went, really, wasn't it? I think so. I all right, that. then. Thank you so much for joining us for this Insect Week special from me, Greg, and the awesome Millipede just here. And all the VIBs. <laughs> Stay curious. See you soon. Bye. Bye.